Hi, I'm Heidi from Sierra Trading Post, and I am here to show you how to transfer the bearings on a map to your compass and then use that to navigate in the wilderness. So the first step is to determine where you are on the map based upon the topo lines and your surroundings. And in this case, um, that would be the ridge line in front of me, and then there's a peak over here to my left that we can translate onto the map and then figure out exactly where I am. So now that we have determined where we are on the map, we need to make a note of where we want to go which in this case is going to be the summit of Gray Rock Mountain right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark. Okay, now that you have two points on the map, you wanna bring the compass into play and you're going to set up the compass so that the, the edge here um, goes from where you are to where you wanna be and make sure that these lines here are actually pointing toward your destination so you're sure to be traveling in the right direction. And once you have this set up here, um, you're gonna go ahead and take the compass dial and spin it so that these orienteering lines within the dial line up with the orienteering lines or the grid on the map. Make sure it all stays lined up. And then once those are lined up, um, the orienteering lines are lined up, you'll have your actual bearing here at the top of the compass. And that, in this situation, it means we're going to be traveling north, northeast. Once you have found your bearing on the compass, you're going to want to turn your body and the compass so that the magnetic needle lines up with the orienteering arrow on the compass. Um, this will have the compass pointing in the direction that you want to travel. It's a good idea to pick an object in your line of sight and then walk toward that. Once you get there, it's not a bad idea to repeat the first few steps um, to make sure that you're staying on course. Um, if it's a more complex course that you're traveling, it's not a bad idea to um, write down your bearings and maybe the paces between the objects that you choose should you need to return to your original location.